Time travel to my slow spaces. Like an ancient Roman, I challenge you. Carpe diem, seize the day. This thousands of years old wisdom is still very much valid. It is only too easy to look back longingly on the good old days and not realize they weren't necessarily any better than today. An equal mishap is to constantly gaze far into the future, forgetting the joys of the present. I am guilty on both counts. Sometimes I'd like to stop the passage of time and dive back into the precious moments of the past. On the other hand, my profession as a future research professor requires me to always keep one eye on the future. Increasingly I see the wisdom in slowing down. The simple joys of leisure, nature, quiet, enjoying a good book, hobbies, social interaction, all these are lost when people keep burning themselves out in the rat race and forgetting that this is where the quality of life truly stems from. I have found a solution. Slow is actually efficient. The ability to pace oneself and slow down when necessary is vital. The eternal city of Rome is my guaranteed time warp into the slow. The Romans know how to enjoy life, good food, company, family, friends, scenery, nature, culture, discussion and inspiring interaction. It is a foolproof anti-stress medicine to book a trip to Rome, take a seat at the cafeteria and absorb in the theatre that is life. The actual modern-day Rome will lead you simultaneously on a journey to the ancient city and its numerous tales. In the centrally located Argentinian square Piazza Argentina, the stray cats have gathered to lazily lie in the afternoon sun. As I look upon one of the cats lounging on the ancient ruins, I can almost feel Caesar's toga brush past me in the wind. Above all, however, the revolution of slow is a mental one. At my distant summer cottage in the Finnish region of Savalax, some 400 kilometers north of Helsinki, I full-heartedly dedicate myself to the enjoyment of all the benefits of slow life. Rare and invaluable are those moments when I can lie on the pier, listening to the sweet sounds of the lake and watch a majestic swan take flight under my very eyes.